Okay, welcome to the last of my introductory videos to astrophotography, night landscapes, Milky Way, star trails. This video, I'm just going to be going through some of the very basic settings that you need to get decent pictures of the night sky, depending on what you want to photograph. So if you want to photograph the Milky Way or something like that, you, I recommend you have a DSLR camera or something that you can use manual settings. It's very important because the the, the automatic cameras, the automatic settings, you're not really going to get very far. They, they don't like low light and um, they don't seem to handle the night very well. So um, it's better to have a camera that you can set fully manual on. Don't, don't be too scared about it because it's very, it's very easy to do uh, once you know uh, where all the, you know, where all the settings are. So. One of the main things you will be doing is you'll be using fairly high ISOs to take pictures of the night sky because you want to try and collect as much light as possible. So we tend to be shooting ISOs from 1600 to 6400. Now, depending on what camera you've got, um, you know, uh, some cameras might not handle anything above 3200, or maybe your camera maxes out at 16. Just, just use whatever the the maximum ISO you've got and what, what you think is comfortable. The only thing is when you go when you go very high with the ISOs you do tend to get noise but modern cameras do tend to handle noise a lot better than the older ones so if you've got a camera that's no more than say five years old it should be pretty fine. Now the next thing, uh, the next most important thing is your lens and that also determines how much light you can grab as well. There are lots of different types of lenses out there. You, you want to be using a wide lens. In, in my case, it, this lens I have here is a zoom lens. It's a 14 to 24 zoom lens and it has a constant aperture of f2.8. So it's pretty fast and it's a very good quality lens. Now there are some that are faster than this. Some of them go down to f2, f1.8 or even down to f1.4. You'll find that um, standard lenses like 50 millimeter lenses are very fast. But the only problem with those is they're a little bit too long for grabbing large parts of the sky. So you want a, um, a wide lens and as fast as you can get. So generally you want something like a 20 millimeter maybe range, um, depending on the sensor size of your camera. And you want it to be down to f2.8 or lower. So now for exposure. And exposure also depends on the the focal length of your lens. Now if you want to take a picture of the night sky but you don't want the stars to be trailing, that, you don't want you want your stars to be all point like or almost point like and you don't want them to be elongated. So you need to make sure that your exposure isn't too long for the focal length of your lens. Now one of the <clears throat> one of the rules that you can use is the 500 rule and it's quite simple. All you do, you divide 500 by the focal length of your lens. So if I set this one to 20 millimeter, and 20 goes into 500 25 times. So if I use a shutter speed of 25 seconds, then I will be fine and I won't have trailing stars. Now this, this by the way, is for a full frame sensor. If you're using a 20 millimeter lens on a crop sensor, sensor like an APS-C, uh, you have to times that by 1.5. So effectively a 20 millimeter lens will be 30 millimeters. So then you have to divide 500 by 30. So your exposure will be, will have to be less. So there is quite a lot to take in uh, with regards to night photography, night landscapes, uh, Milky Way. There is an awful lot to take in and when you go out you can look up at the sky and you can just get lost but once you familiarise yourself, if you go out a few times, experiment, um, you can familiarise yourself with the sky and start taking some pretty good pictures. So in the next video, hopefully I'm going to be out and about, I'm going to be going to a, a location and doing a star trail there and setting it up going about how I set it up and um, let's see if I can make a good picture out of that. 
so I'll see you in the next video.